Hi everybody, this is Tippa Childers and I'm back to do um, my third project for Genuinely Jane Studios. And this is my third project. It is a holder for my Project Life. So I've recently started Project Life or something similar to Project Life because um, I stopped off at Michael's and they had this kit here. So I don't have totally all Project Life stuff. But it's similar to it. And so I I had lots and lots of pictures. And they were just piling up in different piles. And I didn't know what to do with them. So I decided to create a box. And this is kind of reminiscent of the old orange crates or the fruit crates from um, back in the olden days, the, the farm crates. And so I used some 6-inch rulers. These are just wooden rulers that you can pick up at Michael's. Um, they also sell them at Joann's. And so I picked up the small ones which was the six inch and I spray painted with gold and pink spray inks and I just roughly um, covered the edges with the Distress Ink, the Tim Holtz Vintage Photo. I added some flowers and some beads this is a dryer sheet from my dryer and I use spray inks on that. Same thing with the lace. And this is just a die cut that I use that looks like a film. Okay, and then I use the ring on the book to add my bulldog clips so that if I have more, if I get really behind and I have more pictures, I can add them to my stacks. So that is it. And I didn't do anything to the back of it just because this is going right up against the wall, but you can definitely embellish um, as much or as little as you like. So I was going for more of the Victorian vintage look. So there you go. Okay, let's get started. Okay, this is the base for my project, which is two of the camera shapes from the Genuinely Jane Studios wood books. And I've got seven of these six inch wooden rulers. Okay, so first off I'm gonna start by painting everything white. All right, we're gonna give this a little spray. Okay, and I've got this Recollections spray ink, and this one's in a pink. Okay, so I've painted it white and I sprayed on some spray inks and then I used the stress ink and I covered all the pieces in the front and the backs. Okay, and I've got some of this Faro in silver. Okay, so now that we have our pieces sprayed with the spray ink, so we use the two spray inks, the gold and the pink, and I use the Tim Holtz vintage photo around the edges to give this these colors here. So it looks a little old. Now we're going to stamp it with 
some stamps, and some ink. All right, let's glue this together. So we have some craft goop. You can use E6000, you can use whatever you'd like. And so what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna start in the middle here. Ooh, that's a lot of glue. So we just wanna start in the middle and you can either put it on here, which is what I'm gonna do, just like that. And then I'm gonna just add it right to the middle here. We're going to have three of these at the bottom here. Okay, so now let's get to the fun part. We are going to embellish. So I'm just gonna use my hot glue gun and just add whatever embellishments. Okay, we are done, and this is my project. My project is done. Here it is. It is a picture and project life holder. You can also use it for cards or anything you'd like to put in there. I will see you next time. Bye!